Hey everybody, it's Ernest with Garden South of Jitterbrook Farms. Today is uh, Wednesday, um, April the 12th, I think. And um, I got a shipment in today. Looks like caladiums have delivered from Proven Winners. And I think I did a video on this once before. Uh, I'm not sure if I even published it, but um, I ordered some caladiums to go in the May Garden down the pathway. Um, there's a living path in the May Garden and um with the rose arbors and the okami cherry trees it's pretty shaded along in there so uh, a lot of dapple shade and then you've got the hedging from the boxwoods that go down both sides of the path so that kind of is a perfect environment for some shade loving plants like caladiums and they just absolutely love that rich soil that's in the in the pathway um, so I ordered um, some of their fancy caladiums and I ordered them in bulb form because uh, one it's a lot cheaper cheaper to do and two um, I think uh, I kind of like the experience of growing them myself so um, I'm gonna pot them up but um, I wanted to do the unboxing so you could see the kind of bulbs you get and how they ship out to you um, but uh, yeah so I'm gonna flip the camera around and let you see what I got and I haven't even broke the box open yet. So here we go. All right, so I just set the box up. Um, this is the box that you get. This is quite a few bulbs, actually. I think it's about 120 or 140 of their box, of their bulbs. Anyways, um, it's about, this box weighs about 13 pounds, according to the label. Anyways, um, it's got these crown staples that are holding it closed. So I'm going to just kind of pop my... Uh, Fiscus Hori Hori knife out and try to do this one handed because I'm not very good at that. But let's see if we can do that. So there's that one. There's that one. That one. And that one. Alright. Staples out because these staples are mean. They will surely cut you if you let them. There's the last one's going to give me trouble. But, all right, so here we go. All right, so they've packed them in this uh, looks like wheat hole. We've got some instructions, got an instruction card here. Um, just kind of look through that. It says remove and recycle packaging from the bulbs. Read the plant tag for care and sun requirements. It says plant basically when it's greater than 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So I may wait just a little bit longer. We're close to that. I think we'll be okay. Uh, make sure water and fertilize um this is how to plant my bulbs find a spot with a well-drained soil plant the bulb one and a half to two inches deep in the soil with the painted side up so that's the one thing i did learn last year is that they paint the top of their bulb so you can't get it wrong i really like that add fertilizer so i probably will use like biotone it says use proven winners premium continuous release plant food for best results um, cover and water until the soil is moist so i'm going to pot these up in containers um, just to make sure that i get uh, the results that i want before and then i'll just take them out of the containers and pop them into the uh, pop them into the ground um, so let me pause for a second here and um, pull the invoice and spread out a tarp in the back of my truck so I don't end up with all these wonderful little holes all, all over the place. All right, hold on. Okay, so I got my canvas out and got my invoice out. And um, just kind of covered up my address and my phone number so you stalkers don't 
hunt me down but um sorry about the shadowing the weird shadowing but i got seven varieties that i ordered from them and um i think overall caladium wise i'll end up with 10 different varieties um i'm getting one from the greenhouse big bloomer slower farm it's called miss muffet i really liked it because it was kind of spotted and polka dotted and then i ordered two from long um i think it's longwood gardens or longfield gardens um yeah so there were a couple of white ones that they had that i just really was interested in so i ordered those from them um i like them better than i actually like the proven winter ones to tell you the truth um and then these colors i've just never seen a lot of these colors and some of them were new i wanted to try them some of them I did last year um i did like flatter me raspberry moon um, mesmerized um, and they all did really well, so I'm gonna, I ordered those again. But uh, I'll show you what I got and how they look. Okay, so this is the first one. I got some of this stuff here. Sorry about all that. All right, so this first one um, is mesmerized. And I think this might be a jumbo bulb. Is this a jumbo bulb? Package size, tiny count, yeah, it doesn't say. Looks like a jumbo bulb, as big as a jumbo bulb. All right, so you can kind of see through there. I'm not gonna untie it, the bag, cause I don't wanna get the bowls mixed up, but um, heart to heart, mesmerized, fancy caladium. This one has that, uh, you know, I'm not a big fond fan of red. I do tolerate it in foliage. Here and there, just not real big on red flowers, but um, this one has that chartreuse green, that lime green, and that sagey green, and it has that red highlight. And these have really big ears on them when they send the leaves up. So, and look at the size of the bulbs. These are not jumbo bulbs. You won't find these. I can't even put my fingers around them. You won't find bulbs like this size inside the store. So, there's Mesmerized. And then next here, let's see, we've got all right. So this one is called Bottle Rocket, and this one was new for them this year. So similar, but this one has like a, more of a red veining in it, and then it has that green margin. Um, I think what I might try to do with this one is um, obviously going to put part of them in the border but I'm gonna pot up some of these and try to see if I can use these as well as um, house plants in the in the Christmas during the Christmas time so I don't know how that's gonna work um, I think Laura over at Garden Answer I uh, released a video on this and that was kind of a new thing for proven winners um, because of the fancy caladium leaves they were trying to entice people to look at these as a perennial or alternative to um, poinsettias so um, anyways that's kind of why I got this one I liked it and again the bulbs are huge so again can't put my fingers all the way around it so that's a good looking flower right there good looking plant next uh, this is flatter me this probably was my favorite. Now these, those are number one grade bulbs. These are the jumbo bulbs. And when I read the website, they recommended the jumbo bulbs if you lived in zones like six, I think six and above, uh, because your growing season is a little uh, more shorter than uh, those growing seasons, seasons down in the south. And um, we can take number one grade bulbs like the ones I just showed you and we can actually potentially get them to this size um they don't recommend you preserving the bulbs but um i've been successful in preserving them it's just a matter there's a whole process for that um there's several videos on how to do that out there i'll definitely do mine in the fall when i do my caladiums and um, some of the other bulbs that i prep but um the gladiola stuff like that but look at the size of these bulbs these bulbs are ridiculous I don't even think they'll fit in my pots that I had planned for these. Look at that. 
anyways uh this is what this flatter me looks like now this one um colors are similar but uh leaf uh, shape and patterns a little bit different uh, this one has a lot more of that uh, sagey green in it and i just thought it was really pretty so there's that one it's the number one gray bulb right here i think the flatter me was the only one i got that was in the jumbo bulb and the reason why is because they didn't have it in the number one gray bulb and they are quite a bit more expensive um than the number one gray bulbs and I did all number one grade bulbs, I think 50 counts last year. These are all 20 counts. I just wanted more variety, and less quantity. Um, so this one's Dawn to Dusk. This one was new for them this year. So very good size bulbs. And let's see, this one is Raspberry Moon. I really like this one as well. I just like that polka dotted image. So, good size, healthy bulbs there. You pay a little bit of a premium price, but you, I mean, again, in the gardening world, you get what you pay for. Uh, this is a new one for them, I think. It's called Clown Clowning Around. And this one had more of a pink more coral look to it so excited about that one this one has more of a speckled look and this one's called splash of wine and these are all supposed to be um, or the number one great bulbs too, but I think these are a little bit bigger. There's that one. You can see that. So just to kind of recap, so this is what I ordered in the Heart to Heart collection. Heart to Heart Clowning Around, Heart to Heart Mesmerized, Heart to Heart Splash of Wine, Heart to Heart Flatter Me, Heart to Heart Bottle Rocket, Heart to Heart Dawn to Dusk, and Heart to Heart Raspberry Moon. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, so that's them right there. Twenty in a bag, seven, so one hundred and forty bulbs, and then I got. Probably another, I don't know, maybe 60, 60 or 70 coming of the other ones. So a couple hundred caladiums, more than enough of enough caladiums to go in the garden this year. So, yep. So um, I'll do a quick tutorial on how I pot these up when I get ready to pot these up. But I just wanted to show you, um, they still had a good supply online. Um, I encourage you to go out there and take a look at these. Uh, the prices are the same, I think, as they were last year. So there's no shift in price. Um, and these are super quality, high quality bulbs. Um, and definitely you're not going to find the, the leaf patterns, um, or these colors anywhere else. So if you want something different that your neighbors have, um, definitely look look out for these um i will say if you go to buy these in the chain stores i did buy a few potted ones last year um and i'll see if i can find the old video um and maybe link that video to this or combine the two videos together and um show you what i did last year um but i think i had some good representation of something they had in the chain stores when these came in um and they were 
they were not cheap last year. So I'll be interested to see what the prices are this year as well. All right. Uh, this is Ernest with Garden South. I hope you guys are having a great day and uh, moving on to the next project. See you soon.